All right, what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm a little bit late to the party once again Um, I feel like I'm saying that a little too often now But I'm gonna try and set a alarm a little bit earlier just for you guys So you guys get these videos just a little bit earlier But today we got a new Champions League SPC, which is cool And then we also got another League SPC Now this one, I haven't looked at the players So I'm really excited to see um, how good the players do look man drop a like on this video guys if you guys are looking to complete this Saudi League SBC I don't know anything about it. So let's see Did you see where this is my first reaction looking at them man. So we have 84 Niakate Who wow, he actually looks pretty sick. He actually looks pretty pretty solid and then Aguirre Garay Aguirre Garay Aguirre Garay Aguirre Garay um that card looks like one of the best right packs in the game, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go look let's go take a look at these in-game stats, man. Because I feel like these in-game stats are gonna be the ones that blow me away. So of course, uh, this is the Saturday League SBC, which means you have to submit 16 teams, which actually isn't that bad. And I think these guys are in the worst nations to link up to either. Like you could get like an icon at center back and then like a Europa League Terrera. And link a, a gear Garai into a right back spot in like a 4 3 3 4 like there's so many different ways to do it Excuse me. Um, what I do like about EA and what what they do is that they take players That are like silvers and have like good weak foot uh, and like good physical stats already or just like a physical stature already and then they boost them to the point where uh, their stats actually make them um, a very good in-game player. So this guy actually, that's actually kind of disappointing. 5 and 10, which is all right. Uh, medium, medium work rates, which is not very good. Left foot, four-star weak foot's good. Three-star skills, not the greatest, but not the worst either. Very good pace stats. Good shooting. Okay passing. 99 agility Th that dribbling is weird because he's gonna see that's weird because he has 74 ball, ball control 80 dribbling in game and then 99 agility so is he gonna feel agile fast slow on the ball like i i don't know like it's kind of confusing because they kind of contradict each other um usually when you see someone with higher agility they have better ball control and better dribbling in game stats it's not the other way around but this time it is. It's like one of the first few oddballs that I've seen um, in the dribbling category. And then we have the physical stats. We have 99 jumping, 82 stamina, and 81 strength, uh, which actually looks... He looks like a tank. He looks like a tank, man. And that, with 97 pace and those physical stats, I don't think that dribbling is going to be too bad um, or too, like, uh, influential, I should say. I have, like, something here that's popping up. My hair is kind of weird. But it's not going to be too influential in, like whether the card's good or not i think this card's gonna be pretty decent but this is the guy we all want to look at man five and ten high medium work rates now high medium on a fullback even though it's not like great it doesn't kill the card and we have seen that especially this year work rates don't really influence the card that much three star three star isn't bad it's just not great but it's it's workable it's like usable five and ten for a fullback is great as well great pace Actually, very good shooting stats. It's very good dribbling. Uh, sorry, very good passing stats. Uh, pretty solid dribbling. Very good defending. And very, very good physical stats. This card is arguably one of the best right backs in the game. And let me show you guys this. Like, let me remove him from squad. Let me go to the right backs. Let's go to concepts. And let's look at all the right backs in the game. He is up there with some of the best. Now, I wouldn't count these. Uh, I wouldn't count these um, icons as some of the, like the best because one, people don't really use icons as uh, f as uh, people don't use icons as fullbacks. Um, like no one uses Carlos Puyol's and Eddie, the, the jumping kind of just kills the card. Uh, Carlos Alberto actually looks like a pretty good card in my opinion. Uh, so he's up there with one of the one of the best. No one uses Kimmich. Piss check. Not many people have. Um, just because he was so expensive at such an early stage of the game, but at the same time, he's a little slow, so I don't think people would use him either. Kyle Walker, he's okay. His drawing's a little bit clunky, though, for this game. You want more agile players. Danilo, no one is going to use him. And then we get into the space where Akira Garai uh, comes in, and he just absolutely crushes every single player on this page. 
literally no one gets even close to him. And the one I use, the one I would say that you have to compare him to is, so you have to do this. I would say, um, let me go on. This is so weird. Okay, this is so weird. So let's do that. Then let's bring on um, another very highly used right back, which of course is going to be Nelson Tomato. And then the one I use, the one that I really have been enjoying, is going to be Mbappé. So these three, in my opinion, I have seen a lot as of late. Um, I have the actual Mbappé. Let me actually get rid of this one. Um, let me discard quick sell. There we go. Let me quick sell all the loan. I just want to make sure that's the loan and not the actual Mbappé. Uh, let's go special. Let's go special. Um, so let's compare. Let's compare some of the best fullbacks, the, some of the best uh, right backs in this game, and see how Aguirre Garay stacks up against them. Now, of course, the only problem with him is going to be linking him up, um, which, in my opinion, is the only problem with this card. Apart from that, there's basically not much you could do to make this card better. Like, yeah, I, I feel like you can. His card stats are just so well-rounded to the point where you can boost anything you want and make him great. Um, and what I would boost, I would probably put... I would actually probably put the same thing I put on Babu. I would put a... Uh, what's this? This is a Guardian. So I would put boost the dribbling and defending uh, because I want that agility on my fullback uh, just to make plays with him. I feel like the pace is already good enough. You could put a shadow, you could put an anchor, but uh, the Guardian for me would be the best one. So of course, these are the three most useful fullbacks in the game, in my opinion, um, right now. And Aguirre Garay is basically them, but better. Um, only thing, and I'll keep saying this because it's the truth, only thing, only problem with this card is the links. Um, if you have some icons, great. You can actually probably put him in the team. I feel like this guy kind of reminds me of Kieran Tierney uh, from last year, the league SPC from obviously the Scottish Premier League. It reminds me of him because everyone liked Tierney. Everyone said Tierney was one of the best fullbacks in the game. But of course, it was hard to link. Uh, so people put icons around him. And I feel like this guy could be the same thing. You could actually see him in some pro teams. Uh, depending on how good he is in game, which in my opinion, he's going to be great. Um, you could see him in some people's teams in the high end levels. So, yeah, man, I'm 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 kind of tempted to, to get that card. I know I have Mbappé, who, in my opinion, Mbappé is a very similar card to him, um, except of course the gear is much much better. Uh, but these cards are very similar, man. Um, Mbappé is tall as well. He's actually much much taller. Um, these guys are actually all all three of them are much um, are very tall. Uh, for fullbacks, and I would say Nelson Semedo, of course, is like the most agile one, so he's like the most meta one, but Aguirre Garay, without a doubt, in my opinion, is the most meta one uh, of the three. But yeah, guys, this is where I will end the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The Saudi um, League, as we see, is here, and it looks very, very, very good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Have a fantastic day. Get him out.